Well, we had a nice break, but oppressive heat and humidity are making a comeback. Lauren, staying cool and hydrated, checking on the elderly, children, and pets. The thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Mm. Give extra care to your pets, children, your neighbors, the elderly, and yourself as well. Want to make sure you take it easy. Spend time indoors in the AC. Be properly hydrated as we deal with this excessive heat and humidity that's really going to ramp up as we head into Wednesday. But for today, we dealt with some rain cooled air in some locations to help cool us off from some of this heat that's just beginning. And then we did have torrential rainfall across portions of Kent County, Delaware, where some water rescues were reported in. Harrington picked up about three to four inches of rain in just several hours. Storm scan three, mainly quiet, but still some activity persisting into the overnight period. And we do have some rain showers working through Carbon County, a little cell working itself through Gloucester County. We do have a chance for a few spotty showers and thunderstorms as we head into the overnight period. 4 a.m. Yeah, you might hear a couple of rumbles of thunder with some scattered cells redeveloping once again. That could persist into early tomorrow morning, so you might have to contend with that if you are an early riser getting up a little bit later you'll likely be rain free as we get a break from mid morning into mid and late afternoon before we'll see another round of some scattered downpours and thunderstorms building in especially north and west of I-95 as we head into the evening hours we could see some locally heavy rain and gusty winds produced by some of those cells and for tonight spotty downpours and thunderstorms around low temperature only falling back to 72 degrees so warm and muggy current conditions right now yeah we're still pretty warm 79 degrees still in Reading. We're at 76 in Philadelphia, and that's after some rain cooled air. 75 in Wildwood right now, and 75 in Wilmington. Dew points, they are elevated up there into that 70 degree range for most of us. We are into that steamy category. We're not going to fall out of that until Saturday. Yeah, we could see dew points in the upper 70s by Thursday and Friday. And for tomorrow, we're at 92 degrees, mostly sunny, hot and humid with that chance of a morning heavy shower or thunderstorm. Then scattered late day thunderstorms redeveloping once again. The main story, of course, the extreme heat as we had Wednesday, Thursday into Friday when we have that excessive heat watch in effect. Heat indices up around 105 as we head into the afternoon and early evening hours. Heat illnesses are possible at these levels, so be sure to take it easy. Checking in on the tropics, getting a little active. Potential tropical cyclone number six working over the Lesser Antilles right now. We have tropical storm watches and warnings in effect for Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. The system likely to strengthen to tropical storm Fred as we head into tomorrow and then continue to traverse over these areas. Cuba as we head into late week and that cone of uncertainty. South Florida is in it by the upcoming weekend, but closer to home down the shore. Pretty good looking beach day for tomorrow. High temperatures near 80 degrees, but as all 90s for the city and surrounding suburbs as we head into the remainder of the week. Then that heat and humidity breaks on the backside of a strong cold front as we head into the upcoming weekend, feeling much more comfortable by Saturday night. We'll be right back.